today we're going to be doing something a little different. Um, we're going to be doing an unboxing video, which isn't really like our usual thing, but we're unboxing worms. So my uh, worms arrived today for my uh, thermoculture uh, experiment, my foray into to worm farming. So the worms arrived, but the structure that they go into hasn't arrived yet. So I'm going to be opening them up and getting them into a temporary situation and then um, we'll get them into their actual worm farm digs um, shortly. But anyway, let's, I'm very excited. Are you excited, Monty? Worm nerd. Thank you for purchasing the worm nerd. Okay. It's a very wet bag. This is just packing material. Okay. Let's see what we have here. We have a wet bag full of peat moss and worms. And I'm going to be putting them temporarily into this sort of rubbermaid container full with um, shredded newspaper and uh, craft paper just shredded up and moistened. And sure enough, sure enough it's worms. all out. Don't want to miss anybody. Oh, okay. That is very exciting. And I'm going to give them some food right off. So I've got some kitchen waste and some coffee grounds. Let's dump my coffee grounds. Because they love that. Don't want to put too much in here because there's only so many of them. They're going to multiply out once they get into their their proper homes. But I'm just going to put some banana peels and coffee grounds in here. The rest of this will just go in my regular compost pile eventually. that'll keep them happy for the time being. So I'm very excited. By spring, we'll have a batch of compost. Very excited. Um, all right. Hey, guys. So um, this is day two. And Melissa's here now. And I. this is going to be all new to me. I, I. The only thing I know about these worms is that they make great compost and that I've heard, it might be apocryphal, that they make a chomping noise when they eat. So this will be something we will... Um, I'll be anxious to hear if that's really true. Yeah, but in the meantime, I, I'm just along for the ride. So. I didn't know about that part. <laughs> um, all I know is good quality um, worm castings, like Coast of Maine, is something like... It's like ten dollars for a little, a Easily. little tiny yeah, bag, so. and I figured, um, let's give this a shot. And it's Maybe. a new pet. It's a new pet, and I'm going to name each and every Ooh. little worm. So, um, and they're going to be able to stay in the basement, which stays above freezing, but not too warm in the summer. So, it can be a place that I can go and take um, uh, coffee grounds okay. and and kitchen scraps. In the winter, where I don't have to go running all the way uh, out into the compost pile in the snow, so that's great. in my mind, this is this is actually going to promote a little bit of um, 
you know, less efficiency, a less opportunity to go slip and fall in, in, on the ice and, and during the winter and, yeah. and whatnot. So, so this we have the worms already. The worms came came the other day, and, and so this is their home. This is going to be their their new permanent home. I, I temporarily set them up in, in some some rubber made, but um, okay. The unboxing. The unbox unboxing day. Okay. Wow. I'm immediately to three three sixty. Worm ladder. This says calls itself worm ladder. Okay. Worm ladder. Okay. Let's see. Check it out. This is the lid. This is the lid. This is what it looks like the base. So let's set this here. Here is. Ooh. Looks like you got some starter. Yeah, some right. starter, starter bed bedding. Ooh, it comes with a. Comes with a thermometer. <laughs> oh, you know, no. I love a compost thermometer. Oh, yeah. It has the little faucet for the front. She's having such a nerd girl moment. I, it, 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 just the, forgive me. I am such And this is, as you would call it, this is a bit of kit. Right? I love a good bit of kit. And a, a, little, oh. a little rake of some kind, a little scraper of some kind. It's like something I use in the kitchen. Um, <laughs> Don't know. Don't know yet. Sort of a. It's like a colander yeah. or a like, compost strainer. Yeah, I think it, it is a little bit like beekeeping that you have stacks of, of boxes. Yeah. But instead of honey, you've got. Oh my gosh. Okay, all so. Those different levels. So there's four different uh, levels of these sort of mesh bottom boxes. And this is all appears to be heavy duty plastic. It does. It, it seems to be kind of substantial, heavy stuff. So there's four of those. And I have a feeling, just, I don't know, but I have a feeling that when you put this all together, that these are going to be like where they're going to be making the compost and you're going to be moving these up and down or something. Right. right. You will tell me. Right. I've got to read this a little bit more carefully, but the general idea is that this is the this is the base and this spigot will be going on to the to the front of this. What's the spigot all about? I mean the as they're they're um, they're making their compost. Which is poop. Basically, the compost tea basically is going. So back. there's water in there too. Well, you gotta keep them moist. Of course, they're worms. You know, I mean, just like like your compost pile, you want to keep it at okay. the consistency of a run out sponge. Okay. And so, so eventually there will be a certain amount of moisture that leaches through Got the it. whole thing and drips down into here, and that cannot be thrown away. No, that's no, that's okay. Thing. That's compost so, tea. I get it. That's compost tea. So, so you know, I'll be able to to. I, one of the reasons I bought this model is because it has this um, bottom that is is oh, sort of. It's like a bathtub. So the water is it the, focuses, the compost tea. It, yeah, it focuses it towards the towards the drain, which is the spigot, which makes it really easy to to harvest that as well. Interesting. And yeah. not all the models had that. And some of them had. Um, a flat bottom, which I knew that wasn't going to work. Tipping, and so um, I think the next step is to read the instructions. Okay. okay. Read the instructions. I think I have a handle on what's going on. So, first thing I did is I put the the little spigot on the front. They say spigot's really for decorative purposes and really not to be. be you're not really supposed to count on it, keeping it anything in so so you, you got to put something under here so <laughs> basically they said leave it open for circulation purposes and keep something underneath there to catch the 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 compost tea so okay okay forewarned the next thing that goes on is the thing that's called the worm ladder and that just sort of snugs right in there and i think the purpose of that is in case any of the worms go down they won't get they won't drown they can they, oh. they can get their way back up 
Oh, so it's it's like a little way for them to climb back. Up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so the next thing that happens is one of the perforated bottom trays goes in. And then the next thing is a sheet or two of newspaper on the bottom that's been dampened. We have the um, water pitcher. Yep. And the newspaper uh, can only be black and white, no color ink. And that was actually surprisingly difficult. I brought over, I got the Sunday New York Times delivered and it's a whole lot of color. It's, it's, yeah. So out of an entire Sunday New York Times, I think we got five sheets of paper that have no colors. Okay, so you put a couple of dampened sheets in the bottom. I guess just to keep the whole thing from falling through immediately. Okay. They've given me a certain amount of, of um, bedding that comes with the kit. Which is shredded newspaper. It's shredded right? newspaper, and also they gave me some coconut core, which is, you know, I imagine most people are familiar with that. It's, it's sort of the the thing that's the front runner for the substitute for peat and, and, Got it. and potting mixes and things. Because it's days. sustainable and peat moss. Well, or it's you know, more sustainable. It's, it is a byproduct of the coconut industry, but the problem is it comes all the way from Sri Lanka, so I wouldn't call that sustainable yeah, either. So. either. Until we find the, the solution to the, um, you know, killing the peat bogs and the shipping core from halfway around the world, you know, we'll eventually come up with a solution. But in the meantime, I'm, I'm do, using what they provided, which mm -hmm. is, they said to put half the bag of coconut core in, or peat moss or whatever you have, half the, the bag of supplied shredded now that's newspaper. That newspaper, I see color ink. I, I, I do see so, a little color ink in there. Hmm. I don't know. We went to links to make sure that didn't happen. Yeah, but that's all right. Okay. So let's say I've got that in there, and then they said wet it until it's like a sort of a damp sponge. Oh, sorry. That's okay. I've got this sort of mixture that is sort of um, spongy. Spongy. And I'm going to be putting it in here per their instructions. And I see they've had they have a banana. Yeah. They have so, I'm so excited to see them. So there's coffee grounds and banana and some little bit of chopped up greens and things. It says to put all that sort of food stuff in one corner. Oh. Although another um, when I saw said to do it in two corners, that's from what I did. And and then to kind of gently, I don't want to hurt you guys, wormies. I'm going to dump you all into... There they are. They're the wormies. Hi, wormies. Jeez. Oh. So. They're getting tucked in with the New York Times obituary section, so oh. that, they'll have some nice reading. Oh, gee whiz. A little bit of water. Okay. okay, so. Just got, they said, three to five sheets above them. Okay. So I guess that's to sort of keep them from, from drying out. Right. And then, um, for now... I'm going to just put the lid on them. Now, as they start to go through that, I will start to add more layers to it. And I will add another another layer on top. Is that something right? Or is this one? I guess it doesn't matter. I'll add another. I'll keep on adding layers. And the thing is, is that you want to give them 50% bedding and 50% food to eat. And as, okay. as the worms increase, they're going to need more and more bedding and worm and right. bedding and food, food because they can eat 50% of their body weight in, in food a day. What? 50% of their body weight. So the biomass so, of worms. So, so if you have a pound of worms eventually, this is a fairly small amount of worms to start out yeah. with, but as they increase, it eventually will probably be something like a, a pound of worms. And... That means you can put in as much as 
half a pound of, of coffee grounds and banana peels and so yeah, so what else would I eat? It's basically anything that you would put in your compost pile except onions or eggshells. I was gonna say eggshells would, would right. be a problem. Onions and eggshells are fine in your compost pile. They're going to break down just fine. Right. But in here, it's 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 a little work and they need to navigate. Um, you want to keep them between 40 and, and um, 80 degrees. So my basement is where I'm going to do that because it's always going to be above freezing. It's always above right. It's always above 50 in my basement and usually not above 65 right. or 70 at the hottest. It's always a delightful place to be. Yeah. yeah. So, and then I just have one other question. So the, the holes in these things that look like a, a colander. Mm -hmm. So as the worms are going to eat their way upward, you're saying right. as you add these on, and they're going to migrate up through through those little holes. Right. So right now we're, they're under, here. we're only in one layer. Yep. And let's say... And how do you know when to put the next layer on? Well, that's a really good question. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I think I'm going to have to kind of play it by ear. But I think that, that say in a week or so, just to be safe, I'll probably do the exact same process. I'll put some some um, some new wet bedding in here, probably less newspaper on the bottom, yeah. just because it's. It, I want them to come out through. Yeah. But I'll put some new wet bedding in here, and I'll put some more food up here, and I'll put, put that on top, and I'll start putting the food in this layer. Right, and so they'll come up, come toward the food. Yeah, as soon as they start to have consumed all this, Got it. Then they'll, then they'll start coming up. It's really so and, interesting. And you keep doing that until like, okay, well this layer is all filled and then I'll start working on the next layer and they'll eventually have come up in this layer and it said it was, it's within three months. Okay. This should be, that's, okay, that's this, what I was... this should be all full of, of compost. So I'll hopefully be on a regular cycle that every, I don't know, like every month or so I'll have a new bin to, to use. A new worm mummy. I know. Oh, I know. <laughs> oh, I think there was one other thing. There's some rock dust. I was supposed to put a spoonful of this rock dust that they supplied in with it. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but it's probably for the digestion. Okay. So I will do that as well. But um, and I will read all the instructions more thoroughly in it's case there's anything I it's really a substantial out. instruction book. It is. Booklet. It is, and I'm very excited about this. Me too. They, they want to be in the dark, so I'm going to find these quiet corners of the basement that yeah. doesn't have a lot of activity. That's a great idea. Cool. Yeah. Well, guys, thank you for joining us today on New Digs, and um, I'm a worm auntie. So unboxing worms! Yes, worm unboxing. So, uh, hope you're having a great early spring, and we will see you next time on New Digs. Bye! Bye!